so we're over here in the uh, prime testing lab in Memphis, Michigan with the all new X1 target bow. And I've got this bow set up and dialed in really good for my tank 27s by Carbon Express, my indoor arrows. But I don't just shoot one arrow all season. I shoot a multitude of arrows. When I travel over to Europe and shoot anything that has to do with world archery, I'll shoot my 9.3 millimeter arrows, Carbon Express X Busters. And when I go outside to shoot field and whatnot, target, I'm gonna shoot my Nano Pro RZ 400s. And in the past, anybody that sets up target bows knows that it takes a lot of time to get a bow dialed in for one particular arrow. What if I told you you could have a bow that with no adjustments is dialed in for all three of these arrows? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a bear shaft test. I'm going to do a bear shaft test with the Tank 27s, right here. I'm going to do a bear shaft test with the X-Buster 350s, right here. And then lastly, with no adjustments to the bow, the same bow, all three different arrows, I'm going to do a bear shaft test right here with these Nano uh, uh, RZ 400s. And what I'm going to demonstrate is the easiest tune and bow that I've ever used in my entire professional career. So, I got my bow, I got all my arrows. We're gonna head back to 18 meters, 20 yards, and we're gonna shoot these down there. Now, of course, the sight itself, so impact on the target, will be a little bit off because my sight is set for my big arrows, my Tank 27s. This is a 250 spine arrow shaft with a 200, uh, 300 grain point in it. Then when I drop down to my X Busters, that's a 350 spine with a 200 grain point. And then my Nano RZs are a 400 spine with a 140 grain point. So I'm testing a large variety of overall arrow weights here, a large span on arrow shaft spines all the way from 250 to 400, which is a huge span. All off one bow, 60 pounds, 31 and a quarter inch draw length, 18 meters, 20 yards, three totally different arrow shaft construction builds. Uh, a high density carbon weave with the Tank 27, a composite blend of carbon and glass in the X-Buster, and then an ultra high modulus carbon multi-spine arrow shaft in the Nano Pro RZ. And normally to get this to work, you would have to make a lot of adjustments to this bow or perhaps have multiple bows set up for all of these different arrows. With the Center GX139, this is the only bow I've ever had that I can do this with and get all three of these shafts to tune, okay? With no adjustments to the bow. Now as I change arrow diameter and go from larger to smaller, there will be some slight impact difference in the vertical column, but the important thing to look at is the horizontal aspect. With a bow system that's built correctly, with the right technology, it will push an arrow straight on the horizontal axis. And that's really what all the technology we've put together is here to do. From the parallel cam system on the TRC cam to utilizing 82X superior riser materials to advanced engineering um, techniques, adding the swerve, incorporating the swerve in there to get the top and bottom of the riser to both flex evenly, putting the grip in the center of the bow, building the X grip, a biomechanically engineered grip, shifted over and shaved and shaped so that it doesn't interfere with how your hand goes in the bow, Flexus cable guard system, reducing torque. This bow is built to deliver energy as straight into an arrow, horizontally and vertically as possible. So here we go. First arrow, tank 27. Bear shaft from the tank 27. I'm going to shoot it in the same spot. Excellent. 
X-Buster 350. I'm going to shoot this in the number two spot. Now because this arrow is a little bit lighter, I expect it to maybe hit a little bit higher. It's a slightly different spine, so I don't expect it to hold the same left and right as the Tank 27. But what we're looking for is where the bear shaft hits with the flat shaft. Bear shaft. Stuffed it right next to it. And now the biggest transition of all for any setup is going from your indoor arrows to your outdoor arrows. This is my outdoor arrow here. It's the weakest spine out of anything I've shot. It's a 400, has a 140 grain point in it, 18 meters. Now because of the, the massive arrow shaft diameter change I've made from a full 27, 420 size to a 9.3 millimeter to this, which is about 200 thousandths, it's under a quarter of an inch in diameter, okay? I don't expect it vertically the bear shaft to go in the same place because the arrow is basically sitting on the bow very knock high. But what's important, and we, pre we talked about it before, is the left and right aspect of it. And also because this is the weakest spine arrow I've shot yet, I expect it to hit definitely right of the other ones. So we'll shoot the flat shaft down there, we'll shoot the bear shaft down there, and then we'll go down and take a look at the results. Flesh shaft, and now bear shaft. I'm going to leave my bow here. Let's go down and take a look at the results. This is totally uncut footage, 20 yards. Here's my tank 27, fletched arrow. There's the bear shaft. One bear shaft to the right. Right on top of it. That's a tune. Second arrow, 9.3 millimeter X Buster 350. There's the flesh shaft, there's the bear shaft. Right on top of it. One arrow shaft to the right. Now moving on here, we talked about this a little bit, okay? It's considerably smaller diameter arrow. Here's the Fletch X-Buster uh, Nano RZ400. Here's the bear shaft. It is roughly one arrow, you can see they're touching left and right. It is one arrow shaft to the right of its Fletch shaft. Yes, there's some vertical inconsistency there, like if you come around to the side and look, you can see that these arrows, the x -Bust, the Tank 27, the bear shaft is in straight. The X-Buster, the shaft is in straight. The RZ, the shaft is in point low or knock high. And I explained that that's because of the arrow shaft diameter difference. And we didn't make any changes to the rest position or tune. Now normally to set this up, because the arrow is much smaller diameter, I would loosen my rest and I would move it up so the arrow was sitting level, okay? But the important thing to look at is the left and right. All three arrow shafts, three vastly different spines, three totally different arrow constructions and composites, and the bear shaft, as far as left and right, hit all identical. In all my years of being a professional, I've never had a bow that would do this. So, the tunability of the Synergy X1, in my opinion, unmatched, has no rival.